Election year is officially here as U.S. presidential caucus votes have already been cast. But there's one bipartisan issue in particular that is increasing in global relevance, freedom of religion. According to a Pew Research Center report, since 2007, religious freedom restrictions have increased globally. Whether it's preferring certain religious groups or the establishment of laws and policies against other religions, restrictions rose more than 44 percent. Religious persecution is thus stirring greater global concern, and it's one issue that could influence the U.S. presidential elections in 2020. According to the First Amendment of the U.S. Constitution, every person has the right to safely and freely worship. But U.S. Ambassador Sam Brambach admits he's been hearing rising concerns about this freedom and if this amendment still holds true. This is a key concern. When you've got churches and synagogues in the United States being shot up, unfortunately, pretty regular basis, and it happens around the world and people hear about it and you get beheadings taking place in the world because somebody's a Christian. That really stirs people and they're saying, look, I, this, I've had enough, there's too much of this going on. What are you doing to address it? While a majority of religious persecution is happening outside North America, it's infiltrating the country little by little. Ambassador Brownback says part of his job is to aggressively tackle these issues, both in the states and elsewhere. I think it is an electoral issue. The beautiful thing about religious freedom is, uh, to date it's been a strongly bipartisan issue, supported by both parties, and we want the topic to stay there strongly bipartisan, supported by both uh, sides. Uh, and it's a, it's a basic human right. You should be able to do with your own soul what you choose as long as you're peaceful. It's a topic Brownback says has risen to one of the most important issues for every political party, no matter their beliefs or where they're from. It's enough to agree on the fact that religion should be free. But freedom of religion is more than people's ability just to worship. It's people's right to peacefully and publicly live, speak, and act according to their beliefs, which up until this point is still a right in the United States. In Rome, Melissa Butts, Currents News. If you're watching Currents News on YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe button and then click on the bell to get instant updates about all of our newest content because we are putting your faith in the news.